Hi ladies. Right, this is my third attempt at this um, video, so if it doesn't go right, I'm going to scream. But morning anyway ladies. Um, I'm just, just going to show you a few bits that I've been working on. And um, I'm going to start with this. Um, do you remember when I bought the Prima Butterfly? This blue one. And I thought, they're gorgeous those, and I'd like to attempt to do them myself. So what I've been doing is, um, I sat this morning and I've made this one. Now, I haven't put the multicoloured gems on like they have, because I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do my own thing, my own take on it. And I've come up with that. Let me just see if I can... Sorry, ladies. Just don't seem to get the focus on it today. So that's Prima, and that's mine. I, the way I've done that is I've used the Prima one to get a template. I then cut it out of um, one millimeter MD, uh, MDF. <laughs> I, end up, I didn't use wood at all. I used um, one millimeter chipboard, really. <laughs> and then what I've done is I gave it two coats of the white um, acrylic paint. It's sure my memory's getting bad. I can't remember what I've been doing. And then what I did then was to... Let me just see if I can get a proper focus. I just can't get this to focus properly at all. Um, and then what I did... Um, I used the um, paints that Yvette gave me from work. My friend from work. Yeti 250. She gave me a box of these, which I'll show you. And then if you want to get them, you can. And pl I'll tell you what. They're good. Very good. So the Colour Craft Brush Show Colours, that's what the ones I used. And they're powders and you have to mix them. So what I did, um, I used, you know the little pots, uh, the little fronts that the... Um, uh, oh, Marlene sent me the... Uh, oh, what do you call it now? I told you I've got a bad memory. The flock. And the fronts that they're sat in, I used them as little paint pots, so don't waste them. Use them. Come in handy. And it saves staining your own, your own little pots. Anyway, so I've used those to mix all the colours. That uh, Well, there's 12 colours. So I've done that. And then I used the purples, the blues, the yellows, the golds, the reds to make my butterfly. Once I'd done them all, they were, sta they were still wet. And while they were wet, I used some alcohol inks. And as a minute I put them on the end of a brush, a little bit on the end of a brush, and then touch the card, um, it like shot out and, and it like blends in. And it gave you that gorgeous, gorgeous look that you get see like like primas have got um it's gone from a like a green to a yellow to a blue well that's what happened with this one let me just show you there um and then i embossed it in clear embossing powder added the bling added the um glitter using the stickles the uh, i think it's the um diamond one which I, I absolutely love that i need to get some more of that because i'll use that a lot and uh, and i ended up with that so yeah i like that i've used um a chinese bead for the head and some pearl uh, purple beads glass beads for the middle uh slightly bigger than uh, primas but i need to get some small ones so i'm waiting to get some of those and um i don't know what do you think i think it's all right it came up all right didn't it and uh, so i will be doing some more of those i like those i mean i've got the wrong bling on it really but um i just tested it to see what it worked like now i've done it i like it i'll be doing some more so i'll just put that to dry a couple of other projects that i've done i did this one last night using the alcohol inks on the photographic paper and i love the colors oranges e uh, reds yellows greens um, the um, butterscotch blended it all in using the applicator tool and then just dabbed it all over basically and then used the stamp I love this stamp it's different cut out the picture that I wanted put it onto sticky back uh, pads edged it in uh, the Tim Holtz uh, walnut stain she is carrying some flower holding some flowers and it did have a red bow on it so what I've done is I've actually put a red bow on it for a 3d effect with a bit of bling in the middle and this is a, a funky button that I made yesterday now I didn't want to waste it and I do like it on here because I'll mix and match things me to get a different look 
and there was, because I'd cut the picture out there was a gap so I put the funky button there that I made which were the wooden buttons from Marlene memories crafted and uh, I quite like that so that was that then I did this one again uh, using the alcohol inks and just dabbled it you know like just dabbed it on all over but then I added on top of that some of the gold alcohol ink and it's it's stunning I love it um, Honey Bee bought me this stamp which is fabulous look at that love it Elaine love it and uh, I know I've hidden a lot of it but I wanted the outside of it so I didn't need to put a separate frame in so I've just stamped it on and then added the picture the vintage picture and then from the frame from the other day I used the corners and I didn't colour the backgrounds in because I didn't want it all I did I went over with what I'd used on the paper with the applicator and just rubbed it over and then I used a little bit that went in the middle as well with a pearly pearly bling pearly flower so I've got that and that's ready to go on a tag or something a book maybe I don't know I'm just trying things out and so I'm making things that I can actually incorporate into something else when I'm ready to do that um, I did remember that I had a butterfly from um, a butterfly stamp it's a wooden one do you remember the one the ornate one that um, uh, Samantha Pinkaboo 6691 gave me oh she well she I bought them she bought them for me should I say and she was very kind to um, go shopping for me so I did that one but I used the uh, again the alcohol inks with that was it or perfect pills I can't remember no it was the alcohol inks I used on that now I need to trim all the whiteness off so that's nothing but I'm just trying and then I embossed the whole thing in clear embossing powder and I like that because that'll go lovely somewhere so again an ornate butterfly gorgeous butterfly that one then it was, like again I say I'm just testing just I mean I actually look at me I'm covered in ink <laughs> I've been really busy this morning um, and then what I did I, I did these just to test my another stamp I had but it was the patterns on the background with the alcohol inks that I was trying and testing so I just did another card and then stamped them and then embossed it with black embossing powder but just to give it a look and see what happened look and the colors are fabulous absolutely fabulous colors so that I mean I will incorporate this they these somewhere not sure where but I will do so it's just to get the technique going and see if I, I can do it and then I just used the stamp as it was that Elaine gave me uh, honeybee then I used the perfect pearls to color this in uh, edged it all in the walnut stain added the little wooden disc and uh, a stick on clock just a 3d effect on that and I do like that and then I put a little tiny butterfly in the corner stick on butterfly Um, so that's that and um, yeah just trying to create I mean all my butterflies are dry now I'm just going to show you them again because I absolutely adore these butterflies I really do and I'm going to be making uh, a lot of these and selling now I've got oh, where's the other one where it's stuck somewhere I've got four of them somewhere haven't I four let me just put this back in well I'm down to three don't know where it's gone um, but there you go these butterflies I've got my Etsy store set up um, uh, I'm not quite sure what oh, did I write the address bit down see I'm useless me absolutely useless um, it's Etsy account is Jennings 644 and um, I've named I think I've named my store um, Jennings Creations so go along I haven't got anything up there at the moment I'm just testing it if you know what I mean but that's what it'll be Jennings 644 and it's um, Jennings Creations um, and I will announce when I've got my first things up for sale I've also 